It was a typical Wednesday, just like any other, you see. Or so I thought. How was I ever supposed to know that today, today was the day that the internet just stopped in its tracks? I was working late on a big case, a case that felt rotten to the core. But my research wasn't turning up any clues. Next thing I knew, it was like somebody pulled the plug. Internet just vanished into thin air without a trace. This case might be more dangerous than I imagined. Picked up my phone to call my partner, Larry Bumfellow. Sure, he was a slacker with a strange addiction to cheese puffs, but I liked him all the same. Hey, Larry. You there? Larry? When I saw I had no service, it started to set in. Suddenly, this thing was more dangerous than a dragon in a water park. When the lights began to flicker, I realized that my office must be connected to a smart grid. Smart grids are electric grids that use the internet to keep the power running, you see. And now that the internet's gone belly up, the power's gone with it. With the internet down, I had limited access to information about the case or anything else. My only chance rested on a bookshelf in the resource room. I hadn't opened an encyclopedia in five years, but now my life might depend on it. As I made my way down the hallway, I heard the faint whine of sirens pierce the air. I looked out the window and saw a world of chaos. Traffic was at a standstill. The traffic lights must have been unable to receive updates from the internet, causing them to stop working. Not a single plane flew overhead. Without internet to guide them, they all must have been grounded. If that ambulance can get through all that traffic, then the hospital it's going to must be chaotic. Without internet, those poor doctors can't even reach their patients' medical records. When I arrived in the resource room, I nearly flipped my wig. After the dawn of the internet age, someone had thrown out all the hard copies of encyclopedias or any other resource book. But wait, there was one last book on the shelf. Are you serious? As I returned to my desk, I was struck with the real humdinger of an idea. I went into my desk and pulled out my battery-operated radio. It was the only form of communication left that didn't require an internet connection. Come on, come on! Lots of dead air, but then... Reports of a worldwide internet shortage. The president is advising citizens to remain indoors until the internet can be restored. We repeat, stay inside and remain calm as we wait for the internet to... I didn't like the sound of it, but there was little else I could do. It seemed like the best idea would be to get some shut-eye and see if the morning would bring any hope of survival. Uh, Veronica, the IT guy said the internet's back up, so we should be all good. Well... The jig is up, kid. All those things I said back there, no power, Wi-Fi, Netflix, or even YouTube. All of that would come to a grinding halt if the internet just stopped. But the good news is that it's nearly impossible for the internet to stop. Think of the internet as a giant spider web. If one part breaks off, then the rest stays up because it's all interconnected. So I guess I overreacted. You could just kick back, relax, and watch those cat videos knowing nothing can stop you. Bummer. When there's thunder, there's lightning. And this looks like a bullseye to a lightning bolt. Come on, lightning, why do you gotta ruin my pool time? I don't know what I did to you, but you don't have to take it out on me. <laughs> <laughs>